what's up guys welcome back in this video we are going to see the difference between for loop and while loop okay so for loop is used whenever we know the number of iterations okay and while loop is used whenever we don't know the number of iterations but we only know the stopping condition okay so let us take some example and try to figure out how the for loop works and while loop works okay so first in for loop let's just uh, assume that i want to print numbers from 1 to 10 so for that i will take for num in range of 1 to 11 so the reason why i took 11 over here is because always the last value is excluded in the range function so i'll just print num and here you can see it has printed from 1 to 10 so it's not like you can only print num over here you can print whatever you want so i'll just print hello 10 times so here you can see hello has been printed 10 times so here in this scenario i knew the number of iterations okay so that's the reason why i used for loop now let us take a look at the while loop so in while loop as i said earlier uh, while loop is used when we know the stopping condition but we don't know the iter number of iterations okay so i'll take while while true so while true is an infinite loop so after this i will take a variable called name and i'll ask the user to enter his name so input enter the name okay so i will check if the entered name is uh, alphabet so for that i will take name dot is alpha method okay so if this is true i will print that name i'll print this name and then i will come out of the loop okay so if the entered name is not uh, alphabet if uh, the name doesn't include alphabet in it if it includes like numbers then we will ask the uh, uh, we will ask the user once again to enter his name so i'll just print name cannot be an integer okay integer and i will just continue so what this continue keyword does is will bring the console back to the top so let's just execute this program and let's see how the output looks like so it is asking me to enter the name i'll just print numbers over here so it has printed name cannot be an integer and it is again asking me to enter the name so this time i will print some alphabets and here you can see name equals this and it has come out of the while loop now let us execute this one more time and let let us include numbers along with alphabets so it is again printed that name cannot be an integer okay so it should it should include only alphabets then only it is going to come out of the loop so i'll just print alphabets and here you can see we have successfully come out of the loop so this is a while loop works so here in this scenario i only knew the stopping condition that is if name uh, has alphabets only alphabets in it then we are coming out of the loop so we don't know the number of iterations the user might take 100 times to input the name okay so it may be one time or 10 time or 100 time we don't know the iteration we only know the stopping condition that's the reason why i took while loop so here in this for loop scenario i only knew the number of iterations that's the reason why i took for loop so after 10th iteration we have successfully come out of the for loop this is the main difference between for loop and while loop i hope you guys understood this and i hope you guys also enjoyed this video if you like this type of content consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one until next time take care